All right, friends, we're on to another exercise from LearnPack. And today, LearnPack is teaching us about the background rule. The background rule helps us change the background color, background image, or generally modify the background of any element in our HTML. The first thing we're going to do to see how these background rules work here is to press the Run button. Notice that when I press the Run button, I see that the body of my website has a pixelated image as its background. What's happening here? Notice that I am specifying this image with this URL over here. And I also have a background size, which is the size that this image covers. And the background repeat, which dictates how many times this image is repeated in this case. Now, Cover makes my image stretch to fill the entire background of the element, meaning it will be as big as my element. But what if I change it to contain? Notice that when I change it to contain, it gets very small. It becomes tiny, and this is because contain means that it is contained. The image will be contained within the element as much as possible without overflowing. In other words, contain will always be inside the element, while cover will stretch until it can cover the entire element. We also have another rule here, which is the background repeat. The background repeat tells us how many times the background is repeated. Notice that here the background is only being repeated once. This image repeats just once and that's it. But what happens if I put, for example, repeat and choose repeat x? If I choose repeat x, Notice that my image multiplies several times to the right along the x-axis, and if I choose repeat y, the exact same thing happens but downwards. In this case, LearnPack is telling us to put repeat and consequently, when we put repeat, it repeats in both directions, both sideways and downwards, on both axes. Let's run the tests to see if everything passes smoothly, and we see that in this case everything is fine without any setbacks, and we can move on to the next exercise.